Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Frank, musician photographer here in the Midwest. And in this video, we're going to take a closer look at the Pan and Tilt IKEA egg timer build, right? So this video is specifically for NWI Diver and Mr. David Bill blogs, but it'll be useful to you guys as well. Now, if you go back and check my other video, which I'm going to put right here, showing you how I built this, a lot of people wanted to know including my two friends who requested it they wanted to see exactly how it works now let me make a few amendments that I did do something different here I since got away from using the double sticky that I had on here and I did drill into the timer and I added this double quarter inch holder here which you see so uh, it makes it steady and it's a lot better because uh, I found out while doing my time lapse that when it's windy and the sticky tape was coming off the camera was losing its grip <clears throat> so you can get these very cheap you can get them on Amazon and take a look right there that's what they look like so it's a double quarter inch and you can use it for many different things but that's what you see that I put on the egg timer all right so they were asking well what what how do you use it and what will be the the application so you can use this for enhancing your videos you can also do a video with it and uh, the way you set it up is you have a clamp so this is a normal phone clamp and then you're gonna you're gonna screw it on here and uh, you know if you do travel and you can use it for traveling and you can set it up it requires no batteries these egg timers don't require batteries at all uh, you can use it for time lapse, which is what I'm using it for. But like I say, you can use it for video as well. So there's a, there's a lot of different applications. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. So once the clamp is there, right, and we're going to attach the camera. Now I'm not going to show you how I set up for time lapse with this little action camera uh, because I already did a video on that. So you can take a look and I'll, I'll edit somewhere here in the video so you can go see how I set it up for time-lapse now this mostly will work for action camera because once you put it on you'll see that it does weigh it down a little bit so if you had a bigger camera it would probably not work and it actually would not spin so you want to specifically for one of these little you can use it for GoPro I'm using the E action camera and um, the way we put it on here is like this we're just gonna bring the clip back we're gonna add it on there and so now you see that it's there all right so what I like about this particular cell phone clamp is that if you had the GoPro and if I had my different uh, Yi camera where it has a screen this one doesn't but if that one that has a screen on it you can still touch all the controls and you can set up your camera in that way obviously this one doesn't have it but if you had the the next E, the E2 you could do it with that or you can do a GoPro with the has the LCD in the back alright so how do how do we use it alright so just like an egg timer you're just gonna set it up and you're gonna turn it and it's gonna start the countdown so you start that one and then we're gonna start this one So now you have a dual. So now both of these are going to be spinning, right? So depending on where you're filming, whatever you're filming, it's going to do a pan and tilt. Now you can hear both of them are going right now. So obviously you're not going to be able to see it right here as a normal video. But you can shoot normal video if you want to, you know, and it's just going to give you a nice smooth pan and then tilt, right? So what I'm going to do now is in this video we're going to go and show you a time lapse. I'm going to set up another camera and show you how this time lapse is going to work. And I'm I'm going to ask my uh, my little wooden guy here to assist so so that you get something else to look at while I do that. So okay, guys, I hope that explains what this is and what you can do with it. No ba no batteries are required. Just a little bit of building, and then you have yourself a pan and tilt uh, rig that is fairly. Uh, cheap easy to use and um, I'll have to make an update and let you know how long 
it all actually lasts. And uh, right now, we're going to demonstrate it. I'm going to put it on a time lapse so you can actually see it spinning and doing the tilt and all that good stuff. All right, guys, David Bill Blogs, please comment here. Same thing with ND. NWI Diver comment here. Let me know if this helps you, if this like helps you uh, further, or and if anybody missed my video on how I built this, you can go check that out. I uh, definitely love your feedback. And uh, if you use it for different applications and other things, I would love to hear your, uh, your comments on it. All right, guys, let's go to the time lapse right now. see you're still here thanks for sticking around to the end of the video if you like what you saw please consider subscribing to this channel and if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video consider hitting that bell all right I'll see you in the next one